It's time for Northwest Wednesday. Dr. Lennox tells us about the respiratory therapy program and its benefits to the community, as well as the individual students who find purpose in taking care of others. This is a unique program. Um, with being a community college, it's more of an intimate environment. The students are able to contact us at any time because we're in a smaller atmosphere, you know, versus a university. There are plenty of avenues to uh, take in respiratory therapy, and it all starts here in Northwest. Not only do, can you work in the hospital, but you can work in clinics, in sleep labs, the doctor office, cath lab. There's a variety of places, home care, Patients that need home care, maybe oxygen or breathing treatments, we get that equipment set up for them. We're very fortunate for this program to have up-to-date technology. We have a, like a life support system that they actually use in the uh, clinical setting at the hospitals. We have different apparatuses to help the patients breathe. Uh, all the equipment that's needed for it, uh, the survival of the patient, we have in our lab. It's an affordable education. Uh, for these students to come, especially to this respiratory therapy program, this is a growing, continual growing profession that uh, will help them have a better future financially, mentally, and emotionally to be able to take care of someone else. And it all starts here with the hands-to-hands -hands contact on the equipment, building a relationship, getting an understanding of what you'll be doing as a respiratory therapist. Northwest prepares the students in, uh, to be able to not only pass the boards, but to take care of their patients and meet the community needs. This is a two-year program, and then after they complete their two years, then they are able to sit for the National Boards of Respiratory Care to become credentialed. The credentials is done, of course, after they complete the program. And so the second and third semester um, and fourth semester is really geared towards them understanding how the, the board's test is set up. Uh, we go over practice tests. Uh, we have a, uh, a seminar, a three-day seminar that's actually done here at the uh, school, and it's called Kettering Seminar. And they actually take the students step by step about the practice of what well, actual test exam and how to prepare for it and go over some of the shortcuts that they might need to uh, you know, pass their boards. If I'm your patient, I expect you to be knowledgeable, to be kind, to show respect uh, for me, just like you would do for another person, your family member, because you want to give your best when you're providing care for someone else. We have to have the foundation within ourselves to be able to pass it on to the students. So the foundation starts with us and then we can integrate our students into understanding the importance of education, the opportunities that can really present themselves if you just come in and, and talk to the counselors, talk to uh, the instructors, learn about the different programs that we have to offer. And it all starts there with us first and then with the student. So if you're interested, you can call me, Deborah Lennox. Uh, just look on the website. All the information is there. Um, the program requires you to have an 18 on your ACT, anatomy and physiology one and two, and college algebra. And that's your uh, required classes to get into the program. And we can get you started. Any questions, they can just, uh, I'm always open, I have an open door policy, and that's what my students love. They don't have to make an appointment to come see me. They can come in any time. Their medical program is vast. Stick around as we take a trip to the chiropractor.